Hello everyone and welcome back to Benchmark 2. In the last episode we completed our lift shaft here. Oh, if I could press the button that would be really helpful. But yeah, we've got a whole lift shaft here to get between our floors. I mean, we bump our head a little bit when we go to the ceiling here. But it all it'll works fine. And this seals up nicely. Right, today I want to be doing a bit of Botania because we've got a lot of mana here and I was looking at it at the end of the last episode and I want this Rost, Rod of the Bifrost because that sounds really cool. So I just need to get, ooh Pinky, I need to do Elven Mana Spreaders. So let's go with Botania. So how do I get the pink ingots first of all? You toss two mana steel in. Easy peasy. Is this, this looks... oh no. Okay, that's a bit weird there. Let's toss some of that in though. Have I tossed in an even amount? I don't know. No, there we go. So then I'm just going to go ahead and assume it's a normal sword. It's not. Rod of the Bifrost. Okay, well first of all there's that sword, but that's not the Bifrost sword. So we need Dragonstone, which is mana, mana structure in there. And then two lots of pixie dust, which is mana pearls. So we need two mana, two mana pearls and a mana diamond. And then pearls, I keep doing that. Take a whole, take a load of pearls. Look at that. And then Rod of the Bifrost, what do you do? I probably need a mana tablet, to be honest, to activate that. Because I imagine I would need some mana. There you go, fill up my mana thingy. Good enough. It's not doing anything. That's such a shame. Let's flick through the book, see if it'll tell me what it does. Ah, so that's what it does. It creates a rainbow bridge. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I haven't got long before it disappears, so let's get back. But I was reading it, I found it in here. So it lasts for about 30 seconds, but that's what it does. Oh, I can see the cooldown on my hotbar, that's useful then, so I know how long I've got. And then I can make a bridge over to there. Look at that, that's quite cool. I was hoping it would do more, but still quite cool. What else can I do with this Elementium? Shears, apparently. Thunder Cooler, that sounds cool. Ender Air Bottle, don't know how to get that. Alright, anyway, let's, let's keep going. So I want the Elven Mana Spreader, so I need Dreamwood. So to get the dream wood, you just chuck living wood into the thing. Boom, and then do I just make a spreader the same way? Uh, oh, I need an elementium ingot, a whole ingot, not just a nugget. Oh no, you did use a gold, whole gold ingot as well. But I wonder if this can keep up with... Let's see how much it can keep up with. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh crap. 
Oh god, the texture's even worse on that. Okay, let's link these back to where they should be. Okay, I've linked them back up. The Elven Mana Spread, it can't keep up with nine of them, I can tell you that much. These are generating way too fast, so some of these are going to have a bit of leftover energy in them. Do you know what? It's actually, it's not too many of them. Okay, do you know what? It's, it seems to be keeping up a bit. None of these seem to have too much. So I think nine's like the perfect amount. Yeah, nine's the perfect amount there because that is keeping up perfectly. So that is a three times more efficient thing I make it, which is great. Okay, what's next in the old quest book? So how do I get Gaia Spirit? That's what I want to know. So I need Gaia Pylons, clearly. And I need a Flugel Tiara. Oh no, 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 that, I need that. Gaia Spirits make that. So the only arrow going into this is the Gaia Pylon. I have, have I just spelt that really wrong? Yeah, I have. Oh god, what the hell is that? So how do I get the Gaia Spirit? Okay, I need an active beacon. We haven't even fought a wither yet. So we need to start looking into getting a mob farm set up then for like wither skeletons. So what... I, I, I'm certain there's a mod in here for harvesting mobs easier, though I may be confusing this with another mod pack. I just can't remember what it's called. Okay, so it wasn't what I was thinking of, but there is a mod called Conjuring in here, which makes powerful spawners. Okay, that's something we need to get into. Not sure what any of that does. This is all very new to me. And there was another one like this that just added some traps for killing. Okay, that's not that's not much. Slippery stone. What's the point of that? Okay, that doesn't seem great, so we won't really be using that mod. But conjuring seems interesting. I know I have some of these conjuring essence somewhere. I have one of them, so I have one shot at this spawner. Oh god, yeah, I don't have slime boots anymore, do I? So I need to make this soul fire forge. I'm missing everything. So blackstone I need. Have I got any in here? So blackstone I need. Oh, look at this. Look how cool this is. The piglins are even using it. So here's some blackstone right here. Not much of it. Where did it go? No. Didn't mean to grab all of that. Okay, but we've got quite a bit of blackstone here. Oh wow, loads. Right. We also need some soul sand. Is there any soul sand valleys nearby? I can't remember. Is it obvious on the map? What's that? That's probably a... There's... That's a soul sand valley. So where am I currently there? So I need to head north. So let's head this way and hopefully come across the soul sand valley. I will be taking advantage of my rainbow bridge because I do not have a jetpack. Okay, so we've made it here. Just need to grab some soul sand and then we're all good. We've got everything we need. We can head home. I'm loving this bridge. It is making things quite easy. Soul forge. What am I missing? 
Oh, it was soul soil, not sand. Is there any chance I have some? No, right, we need to head back. I seem to be flying. Please, can I stop flying? Why am I flying? I don't know what to do. I can't even get up this slab. I thought that would fix it. I don't have my hook shot. What's going on? Okay, soul soil acquired. I'm doing the weird floaty glitch again. Soul forgery. Seems to be whenever I travel through dimensions using my wand. Okay, so then how did I make it? Soul alloy. Oh god, that's expensive. I don't have netherite scrap. I haven't gotten that far yet. There's got to be a better, efficient way to get netherite scrap. Oh yeah, warthog shells, I discovered that. Netherite scrap dust. Ah, you can pulverise it. No other way. Although you get three if you industrial grind it with mercury. Um, Alright, so that's not what I'm going to do then. Can I... Like, what if I put my jetpack on? No, nope, then I'm just stuck up here. There we go. Hookshot fixes it. Right, tell you what, I want to start working towards some mecha suit armour. Because that stuff, I, I went too high, I pressed the high button. Okay, anyway, that stuff is insanely powerful. Or so I'm told, and I want to test it out. So we'll be using the help of our system here to craft it all, because it does look like it costs quite a lot. So each one takes a Lapatron crystal by the looks of it. So let's start with making that. So if we can set up an autocraft for it, that would be amazing. So let's get ourselves a bunch of blank patterns to begin with. Uh, we're gonna need an assembling machine on the line up here. So that's fine. I'm running out of space up here as well. I've only got room for one more. So, what machine was it I needed? Assembling machine. Okay. So, let's make one of those. Oh boy, that's that's a costly machine, isn't it? But then once I've got it, I've got it. Right. So, two advanced circuits. I have got those in my system. Do you know what? I've got an assembling machine downstairs. I feel like it's probably going to be better just to move it up than to craft a whole fresh one. So which one is it? Assembling machine. That's probably going to be the much easier thing to do. At some point I'm going to run out of machines I can put on here actually. Because that's already seven. Have I got any more smart cable left? Oh, that's the dense one. I didn't mean to do the dense one. Are we okay? Have I, have I messed things up? Or is it because it's night time? Okay, we've got the power back online. So we need some smart cables. So let's teach the system how to make those. Because they're definitely going to be a useful thing to have. So we've got the big one and the little one. Don't know if it knows how to craft the individual wires. I'm not sure if I've taught it that already. But right, smart cable should be able to craft some. And then it'll tell me how much space I have left on here. Come on. 
I have not no things filled on there. Are you kidding? It's like I know I've got things on this wire. That's what all of these are. I disconnected them. That's the problem. I disconnected them. So how many is it? I've got one more allowed. So I guess that's the assembling machine. Boom. Okay, so that's another machine in our mix. Just need to get some upgrades for it. And then we can start encoding everything. So we've got the energy crystal for it. And then we need that one. Platinum plate. Oh, yeah, crap. That was something, wasn't it? How do I get platinum again? Shell them out. Yeah, that's it. It's only found in the end. That was my problem. Right. I'd... Not much I can do about that other than just mine it when I need it. But then my compressor is all full up. So I can probably get one on the back, but then I'll need to send another cable out here. Oh, this is all very confusing. I think I might just leave this and tackle this in the next episode. So yeah, we'll make out, make some more progress towards the mecha suit in the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you then. Goodbye.